first we have the pink donut. So it is a vanilla cookie with pink glaze and rainbow sprinkles. We have a lemon crinkle. It is a lemon cookie rolled in sugar crystals topped with powdered sugar. Next, we have chocolate cupcake. It is a vanilla sugar cookie with fudge frosting and chocolate sprinkles. And next, we have the cherry cheesecake, vanilla cheesecake with graham cracker crust on the bottom, cherry puree on top, and a dollop of whipped cream. Then we have the maple glaze cookie. It is a brown sugar cookie with maple glaze. And lastly, we have the pumpkin roll. It is a pumpkin cake with autumn spices and a vanilla cream cheese frosting. And here is Crumble Cookies lineup of the week. So we come to Crumble this morning. I get here at 8 30 and I was already out of like three cookies so I had to wait about 30 minutes they were still out of the pumpkin roll and the large so I had to get the mini and I was like I think I'm gonna really like the pumpkin roll so I got two of those I got the four large pack and the three mini pack that came to about $24.56 let's start with the minis first they had what is they had they had the sneaker doodle and the um Sneaker doodle and a semi-sweet chocolate chunk. I didn't want to get those. So <laughs> let's get right to it, girl. Let's try the maple one first. This is giving sneaker doodle with maple glaze on it. Like, you think you're tricking us? <laughs> so this is served warm, nice and ooey gooey. Let's taste it. Mmm, okay. It got a nice little bite to it. Definitely getting brown sugar. Slight maple. I wish I would've got that in a large one. It's a simple cookie, but it works. It's not too sweet. It's got a nice crisp around the edges, soft on the inside, not too much glaze, nothing's overpowering, anything else. Like, that's a good, simple, solid cookie. I get at like a 4.7 out of 5. Let's try this pumpkin roll, girl. They put all this cream cheese frosting. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, mm. oh, that's so good. Mm. Mm. I was right by getting two of these. This is good. Now the cream cheese frosting is sweet. It's pretty much a pumpkin cake. I get that cinnamon nutmeg oh man that's good oh man i'm gonna take some of this cream cheese frosting off the cake itself isn't too sweet it's just right with the sweetness that's just that cream cheese frosting taking that overboard with the sweetness girl she messy <laughs> the way they did my little Mini pumpkin rolls, messy girl. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm saying that one. it's nice and moist. Mm. Now that pumpkin roll, five out of five. And those two cookies were served warm the maple glaze and the pumpkin roll. All right, we have the cherry cheesecake. I don't care for crumbled cheesecake. The ratio for cream cheese and graham cracker just isn't how I like it. Y'all know I need more graham cracker crisps than filling, or I need it to at least be equal. And then I'm not the biggest fan of like cherries either. <laughs> so girl, why did I even get this? I don't know. 
it's new, so I wanted to try the new things to let y'all know if y'all should try it. You know what I mean? I be trying to help. You feel me? So, <laughs> let's just undo this. So, how it's looking, it looked like they got the ratio right. It looked like they might have got the ratio right, but then it started getting thick. Uh, okay. Let's get it, girl. I'm just about to buy this. Okay. I don't know. I'll show y'all. Mmm. Look at that. So it is more cream cheese than the crust, but this crust got a bite to it. Mmm. It could still stand to be a little crispier, but when you got a bunch of filling sitting on top of it, it ain't gonna stay crispy long. The cherry filling, the cherry, the cherry topping, I thought it was gonna be like super tart, but it's not. It still has a sweetness to it. It's not super tart. But it's not super sweet. It's like right there in the middle. It's actually really refreshing. It's cool. You know, the cheesecake is served chilled. Let's get a little whippy up there too. All right, let's see. No, I think I like cherry. <laughs> this cherry is actually good. No, that was actually surprisingly better than I thought it was gonna be. I get like a 4.5 out of five. Okay, girl. All right. Chocolate cupcake. Is that what it is? I think so. Okay, let's see. She nice and thick. Let me just bite it. Mmm. 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 Nice and doughy. Around the edges, and this is a solid cookie. It tastes like a chocolate cupcake. Vanilla bottom, chocolate fudge icing, sprinkles. It's simple, but effective. I know that chocolate gonna overpower every time, so all you're tasting is the fudge, really. You get the chew and the softness from the cookie, but you get that flavor from the fudge. I ain't mad at it. It is what it say it is. It ain't too much else to it. I can add a four out of five. Next. Oh, wow. Oh, girl, the crystals hurt, girl. Ooh, y'all see them crystals on there? They feel like rocks. This is the lemon crinkle. I'm excited for this. Let me just bite it. I don't know why I want to break it open so bad. I always end up making an extra mess when I start breaking it, so I'm gonna bite it first. Let's see. Oh. Mm. Nice and soft, doughy on the inside. The sugar crystals, girl, are a little rough, okay? Maybe if it was just like granulated sugar instead of like sugar crystals. Cause girl, she a little spiky. To the touch and in my mouth, okay? And I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I'm getting lemon. Let me see. I 
I was spending a lot more lemon flavor. It really just tastes like a sugar cookie. You get a hint of lemon on the back end once you get ready to like, you know, swallow. But other than that, I'm not getting much of the lemon. And that's kind of what I was hoping for. So anyway, last cookie. The pink donut. Oh wow. It's cakey. It's pretty basic. Literally a sugar cookie. Or pink frosting. The pink glaze doesn't really have a flavor. So it's really just like you just eating a vanilla sugar cookie. Like it looks pretty. But it tastes pretty basic. Girl. Why this week just seems so basic? Like they literally got like three sugar cookies <laughs> and just decorated them different. I would get a pink donut, like a two out of five. Other than like the pumpkin roll, the rest of them are pretty basic. Like, like I said, I think they're preparing and gearing up for the Thanksgiving week where they're gonna have like six different pies. They have those on pre-order now. I think they're gearing up and like putting a lot of energy into that. Because I think it's going to be a busy week. Because <laughs> they're offering those in two sizes as well. So, it's probably a lot. I can understand that from, you know, a business standpoint. But, but yeah, girl. So, if you go to Crumble this week, of course, get what you want. That's what I always say. But, if you love pumpkin, the pumpkin roll... That's the one to get. That's the one to get. That's really the only one I can recommend that I know for sure if you get it, it's gonna be good. That's if you like pumpkin. Cause it is real pumpkin-y, okay? If you plan on going to Crumble this week, let me know what you plan to get. If you already been, let me know what you got. And all right, y'all. That's it, that's all. <laughs> and all right, y'all. That's it, that's all. <laughs>